Hello, this is CryptoMux, aka Zoid, and welcome to this video on my new SSRF plugin uh, for Burp. Um, it's called SSRF King, you can check it out at Ethical Hacking Playground on GitHub, and it's pretty cool. Like, I've never seen a Burp plugin that does SSRF, so I thought I'd make one. Uh, it took me well, only about four hours to cr create a prototype, but this is pretty much it here. I'm just going to get back from uh, Potswig if they're all allowed on the um, Burp App Store. But without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to be using this Burp. Um, we're going to be using Potswig Web Security Academy and this basic SRF uh, against the local server. So let's hop into Burp right now. So in Burp, and what we want to do is we want to go to the extended tab and install the SSRF plugin. Just download it from the GitHub page, and then you should be able to get pretty much should be able to go from there. Then we want to load the in scope item, which is uh, this one here. We just want to load that and put that in scope. Then after you've done that, we want to passively crawl the website. You can just click on links, not sort of thing. But I've known this. Th I know that this uh, endpoint here, product, slash product slash stock, is vulnerable to an SSRF uh, attack, and it's just stuck API vulnerability. So what we want to do is want to just passively crawl this uh, request here, and we'll keep track of it with Flow, which is a um, just a login sort of plugin. As you can see, already it's found the SSRF vulnerability. It would have te tested out this stock API see and seen if it got any um, ex external interactions, which is right here. We plugged in our BERT plugin already and we got an external in interaction. And SSRF King, you're able to um, specify your own callback and check to see if you want to use HTTP or just HTTPS. So let's send this to the repeater and escalate this issue. Let's try and put in, um, you know, the our local um, IP, which is like what well, an internal IP, which is 127.0.0.1. And let's send that off. We should get access to hopefully the admin panel. If not, we might need to uh, have, um, or oh, we are, we are in admin panel. So it says admin panel slash admin. Let's put in slash admin and let's see what happens. So the, the goal of this lesson is to delete the user Carlos. So as you can see here, there should be a user called Carlos. So it's under endpoint admin slash delete username Carlos. Let's just copy this and let's paste this here. So now we can just paste that in and we send that off to the server and we get a response back should be a 200 AK, actually should be a 302 redirect, which will redirect back to ad, admin page and boom, we should have deleted the user Carlos. I should say, um, congratulations, you solved the lab. So anyway, this is the quick demo. I hope you like this plugin. Um, you know, feel free to um, fork it or um, like the, the plugin and you know, the, the source code's out there so you can have a look at it. And yep, until, to, and I'll make another video down the track about certain things, maybe some more SSRF related stuff. So I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day and see you later.